I do not have that money. I still do not have that money at this time. So I only got the rear for now. If you guys want to see the full wide body kit, including the front, it's very, very simple. Help me out. All you have to do is slam the like button. The more likes, the sooner we get the front wide body as well. So please do me that favor. Also subscribe. That's going to help out the channel tremendously. Just got out of Bank of America, pulled out pretty much where all my money goes to, straight to the car. So now that we got this, let's go meet up with uh, Mustang Manny. And uh, he actually just messaged me. We're good to go. There he is. That is loud. Yo, that thing's insane. What kind of axle backs are these? The Ford Performance one. Oh, for sure. Oh, hey, nice. got the caps rocking. Nice. I think I just, uh, they're the sport ones, right? Yeah, I think they still make them. Yeah, I think I, I just installed these the other day. Uh, I had the Corsa's, Cor yeah. I did not like Corsa at all. So I swapped the uh, Corsa with the uh, four. Yeah. yeah, it was so cool. Dude, this carbon fiber too. That literally like, I could feel that on my... Like, Dude, it was insane. And you got the trunk and everything. And then do you do the yeah, carbon fiber parts too or no? You do? I do a lot uh, either on the, my own or I get it from Anderson. Oh, okay. Anderson's trunk. Anderson's you guys, so you, you're NPR performance? Mm -hmm. What? Well, I didn't even know that. That's sick. And then uh, for the wheels, if I just wanted to put my stock ones on, do I put like... Spacer from hell. From like three inches, right? It's gonna be weird. Yeah, I know. These are 20 by 13s. 13s, okay, and then... Yeah, four inch lip. 345s. Jeez, I need the... I need to put my, uh, my big brakes too. That's so out. sick. Can we uh, pop the hood real quick? Awesome. Dude, your ceramic is so nice too. Yeah. It's immaculate. The paint correction and everything. Ooh, and that's clean. <laughs> the gaps are good, like on the sides. Yeah. Try to get everything there even like that. Yeah. Because Shelby had it all gapped right here. You got to make the line right here to where it's even there. Okay. Like you were saying this is right there. Yep. Dang, that is insane. This is fiberglass. I think it's metal because it's so clean. Yeah. Look, I mean, I can't even tell the difference to Let's be honest. Let's get another closer again. Me? Yeah. Right there. Right there. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's what's up. Uh, both, both yeah, this thing's really dirty. It'll car up or nothing. Really? Is this, do you daily drive this or is it a show car? Yeah. All right, for sure. Dude, this is so sick, man. Oh, my GoPro is acting. Oh, you got it? Yeah, I got it. That's sick. Yeah. This bumps. Do I look, is this like Alcatara or yeah. Sweet? Can't even tell because it's all blacked out. Can you replace yeah. it, do you know? Or? No. Dude, I love the carbon fiber, it's so sick. Oh, this is sick. That is so cool. Got the roll bar cage and everything. Picking up the final pieces of the wide body right here. We got the front finally here dude this is gonna look so sick with this little cover and nice emblem right here the fronts uh, aren't supposed to be too bad however the back is where it's it can get a little tricky so hopefully the body shop deluxe auto body which is now confirmed that previous video the shop that i went to will be doing the work on this they have worked on fiberglass before so we just have to see how this is going to be so everything else he has 
some sick GT350s, Super Snake, and the Hearst, as well as the Bullet. So, awesome shop he's got going. Dude, look how massive this blower is. It's liquid cooled and everything. Yeah. Look at this, it's water plate. So, that's yeah. massive. How many millimeters do you think that is? It's probably 105. Prototype, what? Supercharged, that's sick. So a 3.6 or 4.2 should be okay for the goal we're doing, but dude, this thing is huge. Probably I'm also gonna have to get a new hood for this too. Yep. Gonna need that super snake hood or a cowl hood. After that then, I mean, I kind of have no choice, but if you put them on then, yeah. if I, if I want to make it still have it, you know, being safe. We'll so, I have a uh, 2014 GT500, and uh, what do I got to do to get the 1,000 wheel horsepower? Because I'm trying to build it after the wide body, and so because right now it's maxed out on my 833 wheel, and uh, I, yeah, I just want to know like what are the weak components? Is it the rods? I've heard the rods, the block. What else is like the weak point block. of that motor? Yeah, like you have to resleeve the block for. At a thousand, not really. No. Okay. I mean. You're kind of at that point where it's like, yeah. If, I mean, if you have the money, sure. You know, okay. Yeah, yeah, might yeah. as well. Right around a thousand is, uh, is okay. Okay. For uh, sure. Are you talking about a thousand crank or wheel? Yeah. Crank. Are you talking wheel? Oh, I'm already at a thousand crank. Oh, yeah, you're at eight thirty-three. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. We I have a I have a couple GT five hundreds that we did that they're at. Uh, like 11 30 11 40 at the crank okay and we didn't do nothing to the stock blocks. internals no, 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 so oh i was about to say block is stock block is stock okay what did you do to the internals uh, we did uh we bought a setup from l m engines okay um they're very knowledgeable if you ever want to talk to them yeah um, i have their cams yeah we yeah. did um just manly rods diamond pistons okay um king bearings so rods pistons bearings um then we did uh, PAC springs. Okay. Uh, valve springs. Uh, That's with the cams, though. You would have to do that. Comp okay. cams. Okay. Uh, comp cams from L and M. Okay. Um. The uh, billet oil pump gears, billet yeah, crank shafts, everything. Pocket, okay. All that. Um. Uh, return style fuel system. Okay. Dude, that's something you gotta do. Yeah. You gotta okay. Do that. So you got to upgrade you the fuel system. Think that's already done? I just have a boost pump and injectors. Yeah, and I need a fuel return system. Yeah. It makes that power at E85. Yeah, E85. Yeah. That's what I'm running too. Okay, cool. That's um, nice to know because I, I really want to get into building the motor. Already have just the stock. Oh, that has a 36k. Yeah. So okay. You need, you need a blower. Yeah, I want to get the Mammoth. Yeah, well, I mean they have different. Like with displacement, you know. Um, yeah. The three six works well. Okay. The and once you start getting into the four liter engine, a four liter blowers, sometimes they're too much. Oh, uh, okay. Like we put a we did a four seven uh whip on uh, Kenny Bell one uh -huh. down there. And dude, the lowest amount of boost it produces is like twenty two psi. That's uh -huh. the lowest. That's what I, I mean. That's what. See, when I'm showing at. his because his gauge maxed out at nineteen and even barely getting into it, it shoots straight yeah. up nineteen and. No, it, 20, it, it maxes out on 20, and I don't know what's more than that, so. Yeah, well, this car, I said, uh, like, the, we were, like, the lowest uh -huh. we got it was 22. Oh, uh, man. Because our motor's not built, so we're like. Yeah, but for built motors, that should be good. Oh, right? no, yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's what I'm planning. That's the lowest boost yeah. that it makes. Yeah. So, for, like, uh, for tuning purposes, I would like to go a little bit lower. Oh, for, okay. like, 19. For sure. Like, for 91 and stuff yeah. like that. Have you ever, um... Just a, a random question. Have you ever dual charged a Mustang? No. Turbo and supercharged? No. no? Okay. Just curious because that's, yeah, that's where you actually have to uh, rebuild the motor with probably the best internals you can find. Yeah. Uh, I mean, definitely you need a blower that's going to be closer to the 4 liter range. Okay. So a 3.6, if you go with a Kenny Bell, 3.6, 4.2, something like that. If you go with a Whipple, they make the 4 liter Whipple. Okay, for sure. Um, and then you know you need to build your motor rods pistons again the sleeves mm -hmm. um yeah i guess it'd be safer at that horsepower level okay for sure yeah. i just i mean the goal is just a thousand wheel um that's what i want to just aim and for it depends too on how you drive your car yeah 
if you're driving crazy all the time, yeah, you want to build it uh, beefier. Mm -hmm. If you're just kind of like here and there, getting it on. Yeah. You know, yeah. Some of these guys that. Um, that you need to do. Some of the guys we build cars. <laughs> some of the guys we build cars for are older. They're older people. Yeah. Right? They don't fuck around like that. No, I mean I. I uh, drive it. I, I, I hate having a car and not driving it, so I have a YouTube channel. I, I tear it up as much as I can, so I'm going to have fun with it. So you, uh, you, built, you built the motor, right? Yeah. That's it. How much horsepower is it? We're on this motor. It's good for like 15, 15, 17, whatever yeah. you want to give it. And how much, uh, how much is the tune for right now just for like two daily drives? Right about 1,000. 1,000? Yeah, that's crazy. How about the torque level? We are back from Vegas with the full wide body now. This could have not been done without your guys' help slamming the like button and subscribing, so I thank you guys so much. You have helped me achieve all of the all of the pieces to the puzzle here. We got the full rear as well as the front. Now we just have to go ahead and install it. I do have to record lots of videos. I do have a couple more mods that I want to do before the wide body as well as some other reviews. I have to record about five videos or so. So the wide body will be coming eventually. But make sure you sign the like button and subscribe down below if you have not already. Shelby 1000 build is coming. We got all the pieces. Deluxe auto body will be doing the work. So I am super, super stoked to announce that and to finally get into it. You enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Come on, come on, come on.